You can have the best cold emails, the best offer, but if nobody is receiving your emails or they're getting sent to spam, none of that will matter. Good news for you guys, we have multiple features built within Instantly to ensure your emails are being delivered into the primary folder to your potential clients. So with that being said, let's dive into today's video. Like, comment and subscribe and let's go. Okay, so here are the seven features inside of Instantly AI that help you with deliverability. The first one is warm up, then spin tags, then we have inbox rotation, A to Z copy rotation, provider matching, universal global backlist, and then dynamically rotating sending app here. So I'll go through each one here in this video. I'll start with warm up. And uh, warm up is simple to activate. So you just go to your sending account, you connect your sending account, and the only thing you have to do here is just click on this flame. When it's gray, it's not on yet. And then when you turn it on and it turns green, then you have warm up enabled and that's all you have to do so what warm-up does is basically it interacts with other sending accounts and you will have these uh, conversations with them in order to boost up your reputation the reputation of your sending domain of your sending account and in the past you know you had to do this manually if you had a new sending account or a new domain you had to like manually email your friends back and forth now instantly completely automated this and we have a pool of over 200,000 inboxes in our warm-up network in our pool and they're all conversing interacting with each other in order for you you know all these sending accounts to have a good reputation and land in the primary inbox um, and have some history to them so what that looks like let me just show you a quick example uh, once you click the green flame it will drop your sending account into the pool and you will uh, conversate back and forth hey happy you found our service useful and then replying back and forth conversations we kind of which kind of signals to uh, ESPs that hey like this there's something going on there's people uh, positively replying to these emails making uh, improving your deliverability overall so this is one thing the warm-up pool we have one of the biggest warm-up pools and most diverse warm-up pools in the industry uh, so you're in good hands with instantly and you can connect an unlimited amount of uh, Sending accounts to the warm-up just click the flame on each one and you can put them all into the warm-up. So that's the first thing then um, We have the second one is spin tax. So this is pretty cool. Let me just show you how that would work. I'll set up a um, Example campaign here So as an example would have this so usually right you just have one variation of your cold email but with spin tax spin tax is just uh, a way a formatting way a naming convention in a way where you can uh, rotate words and, and synonyms so for example you can, you can see this here right hi hello and hey they are interchangeable and then you just put two brackets in front have random hi hello hey and then first name this can be dynamically inserted and basically for every every word where there's like two other synonyms you can add the structure to it and not every email that you send out will be the same every email will be pretty much unique because you're cha interchanging changing all these these words and phrases every time the email goes out once and then the next one will again have a different variation of what it previously was so when you can see this hey I love to learn here find out it's saying the same thing uh, overall but it's using different words and then you know uh, I learned uh, I'd love to find out more about the way you handle manage deal with sales at company name company name is dynamically inserted and then you know even the question here right you can even insert entire sentences and you can ask, can you can I give you a quick call anytime next week? And then do you have any time this or next week for a quick chat? Right? These two things are saying the same thing, but it's different words. And that makes your cold email more unique. And the more unique it is, um, the more likely you know you're landing in the primary folder because you're not sending out the exact same message uh, hundreds of times. Um, and then here the same thing. So let me just show you what that uh, would look like you know let's say I would go here and add type this in and then if we go to preview 
just format this a little bit so it's easy to read. But if we go to preview, then you can see right all these these brackets and all that they're gone, but it will create a unique variation each time for every every single lead. Um, so you can see this one changed. So this is a good way to improve deliverability in a simple way. And then uh, one thing that also helps is right. Usually you would have to do this these brackets and the random and uh, the straight line. You would have to do this manually each time, but uh, here's a prompt you can use and I'll add this document in the description of this YouTube video and here's a prompt you can use and then you can just have ChatGPT do it for you. Right? This prompt played around a little bit with it and it works on uh, by itself finding out what it can spin tax and then adding the right uh, structure to it as well. So you can just use that and you don't even have to do it manually. If, if it's for longer sentences then you can just do it manually like here. Uh, but yeah, this is one good way to really have unique cold emails going out. And let's say, you know, just for the sake of this example, usually this would be just one email, one variation. But if we go here and we see, and we're going to count this, how many unique variations that is, you can see this we're going to have, if we use the spin tag structure, we're going to have 16,384 uh, different variations of this cold email. Right, making it more unique and more unique is better. So, um, yeah, that's a good uh, example as well. So, uh, next thing, right, we covered warm up, we covered spin tags, inbox rotation is a good one as well. So, let's uh, look at in, uh, inbox rotation. So, here you can, for example, you know, I'll just show this uh, as an example. I'll add what you can do with instantly is called inbox rotation. So, you can, for one campaign, for one lead list, you can use multiple accounts that are sending to that lead list. So as an example, this sending account number one will send to lead number one. The sending account number two will send to lead number two. The sending account number three will send to lead number three and so on and so forth, right? And that way you're not sending, let's say 500 cold emails just from one account, but this 500 cold emails that you want to send out on that day are spread out around uh, um, around 10 sending accounts. So each one will only send 50 cold emails and that will ensure you know you, you stay under the radar, you keep deliverable, deliverability high for every single sending account. Not one single sending account is sending too much. If you're sending too much from one account that raises uh, red flags. So just distribute all that volume across multiple uh, sending accounts and they will do inbox rotation and you can still reach out to a lot of leads uh, with that without sending to a lot of leads just from one single address. So that's another one. Uh, so we have warm up, spin tax, inbox rotation, A to Z copy rotation. So that's um, what we have here. Let me just show you an example uh, from scratch. So let's say I'd have uh, this here and then I can create multiple variations. So on step one, it's going to to lead number one, it's going to send variation A and then to lead number two, it's going to send variation B. So I'm just inserting a couple of templates here just for the sake of this example. And we have three examples here, right? Variation A, B, C. We even have, we can even do D, E, F up to Z. So you can have a lot of variations kind of spinning with that similar concept as an inbox rotation or similar concept to spin tax as well, right? On this step, we're not sending out the same email over and over again. To one third of the people, we're going to send variation A. To one third of the people, we're going to send variation B. And to another third of the people, we're going to send out variation C. So that way, again, we keep it more unique and we're not blasting out the same messaging over and over again. And then even if you wanted to combine these uh, A to Z split testing with spin text, then that's even better. Um, so like a couple additional boosts for deliverability. Okay, so A, A to Z, copy rotation or split testing, same thing. Then another one, provider matching. So this is a little bit more of an advanced one. If you're just starting out and launching your first campaigns, don't worry about that. 
It's more for people who are already getting like five, 10, 15 positive replies a day, and they really wanna uh, squeeze out the last ROI, really optimize that last 5% that they can, then you can do provider matching. And what provider matching does, it matches your emails, uh, your leads email provider with your mailbox provider for boosted deliverability. So you've seen, if you send from Google to Google, that will have better deliverability. And if you're saying from Outlook directly to Outlook, they will also have better deliverability and will enable an additional deliverability boost. So that's um, the fifth feature here for increased deliverability. And then we are going to have a universal global black, black, uh, block list. So this is something we're doing from our end. Uh, you don't have to worry about that, that's automatic. So this is just you know, a list of domain that we know for sure are bad and will cause your cold email to get, get reported. So when we encounter a lead with a known domain that files complaints to ESPs automatically on all unsolicited or cold emails, we will automatically mark that lead as unsubscribed and no emails will go out to it. So this, for, this feature works in the background and does not require any input uh, from you, the user. So this just works in the background. And we, we, got your, we got your back there to make sure you don't send to domains that automatically um, file complaint, complaints for cold emails. So that's one thing that's automatic. Also the last feature, uh, I'm mentioning that here, but you don't have to uh, uh, activate that yourself. It's just we have hundreds of dynamically rotating sending IPs. Other cold email tools out there only have like static IPs or not that many IPs. We have literally hundreds that are dynamically rotating to ensure that your deliverability is maximized. So instead of having a handful of static IPs, we have hundreds of dynamically rotating uh, sending IPs, which really, really helps with open rates and reply rates and making sure that you land in that uh, primary folder. So these are the seven, uh, just circling back very quickly on warm up. So warm up when you're here, you can see uh, the, the flame, right? You just click this little flame icon and then here also you'll see the stats of what's going uh, on. And yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's the video, the seven features to boost deliverability of your cold emails with Instantly AI. If you're conscious of all these features and take advantage of them, each one only takes a few clicks to activate or instantly already does it automatically for you and you'll have no issues with deliverability when sending cold emails again. If you want more resources on how to succeed with cold email, check out our software instantly.ai in the description and you can use it to start sending cold emails today. There's also something inside called Instantly Accelerator, which is basically a full cold email program course with eight modules with everything you'd ever need to know about cold email and how to get more meetings and more clients. And with that being said, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.